More than 12 years ago, a guy was sitting at his desk in his home office, wondering what was next. He had lost his passion for his then career for a lot of reasons. One specific reason is that the creative work he was involved in was fast becoming a commodity and the best assignments were going to the lowest bidder and not the best person for the job. He sat and was thinking about this and uh, he got a call from an old friend. The old friend owned a real estate firm in Dallas, Texas, and he was asking if the guy could come down to Texas to help him with his marketing and to get his new agency better known. So, The guy packed up his bags and headed south. Over the next nine months, the guy had used his creative talents to build that real estate business and grow the client base. Because he wanted to be able to speak with some authority about the industry as he marketed it, he thought he should go ahead and get his license. Nine months into that start in Dallas-Fort Worth, this New England guy uh, gave birth to the realization that no self-respecting New Englander would be living in Texas and being called a Yankee when he's really a Red Sox. So uh, the friend was not paying him. So he called his wife in Boston to share that news. And then he had to change offices because of the payment situation. His wife of 24 years at that time said, since you have to change offices, why don't you also change states and come back and sleep with your wife? That sounded like a good idea to the guy. He moved back to Boston, got himself a mass license uh, to go along with this Texas license. Over the next eight years, the guy went through a number of different franchises. Each one had a high cap rate, desk fees, education fees. There was always someone from an agency with their hand in his pocket. He was working to make the franchise owner richer. He realized the franchise model is built to protect the ownership and not the agency. He had heard about EXP and their universally low cap and fair split, but all that sounded like the same drivel that every franchise puts out. Turned out, EXP isn't a franchise. It's designed to put more money in the agent's pocket. The founder of EXP made a decision when he started this company that a full 50% of all the revenue that came into the company would go back to his agents. For the first time in this guy's life, he could see his future and a way to build enough over the next five years that he could retire if he wanted to. Now he has been with the company less than half a year and he's well on his way of achieving these goals. The powerful technology that EXP has built is and has revolutionized the industry much in the way that Netflix took over where Blockbuster left off. You don't want to be an analog agent in a digital world. This show, Exponential Files, is the conduit for your knowledge on how to make yourself a successful agent on the way to growth and happiness and even retirement if you'd like. This guy has never been someone who lives with regrets And he is just thrilled. He kept looking for a better answer and found this one. Welcome back to Exponential Files. It's our eighth episode. I'm here with our host uh, and author and CEO of uh, the Castles Unlimited team uh, with the EXP, Jim Lowenstern. Hey, Jim, what's doing today? I'm glad to be here. Um, It's the, I, I, I correct you every week, I think, the Exponential Files because that's how people will find us, theexponentialfiles.com. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, how uh, Glenn Sanford uh, changed the industry. Um, I, think, um, I think we're over 80,000 agents this week. And uh, I didn't want to interrupt. I, you have a thought? No, no, I, I, the, the amount of growth has, has been exponential. Um, 80,000 agents in, in, what is it, 18, 19 countries? How, how many countries is it now? 22 countries. Yeah, 22. so that's actually, um, yeah. So this week I was speaking to a broker who actually called me. She owed me a call. She called me, patients, uh, and, and people will call. Um, and she's been everywhere. Caldwell Banker, uh, Ravis, um, Sotheby's, Century Twenty One. If if you if you can name it, um, 
I think she's been there. And um, I just started talking about what's going on. And I touched on the kind of money some people are making and how they're making it, you know, in some cases without working, you know, uh, that's, that, that's, that, that's a hard thing for a lot of people to perceive, you know, well, uh, you, you, income. You, you said without working, it's not without working. It's without doing the, uh, here, here's here's what I meant to say. They worked, and now if they don't want to work, they will still make money every month. Right. So that's what passive income is. Right. You know, it's not like they never did anything. They did. They right. they were evangelists. Is that the word? Yeah. You, yep. Yep. That yeah. is. I I I I prefer to say like we're professors. We're teaching a course the course is you know if, if the title of the course is do you what what do you know about exp that would be the title of the course what do you know about exp 101 and sometimes when i'm speaking to an agent i will after i tell them about you know how i'm doing and what i'm doing and i'll just say you know i really should just ask you what do you know about exp and very often they know zero never right. even heard you know possibly never even heard of it which is interesting for a company that is ranked depending on which list you look like number three or number four in transaction counts for the whole country that's that in itself is a pretty big accomplishment for any company um number one or two uh, could be a company that has several brand names right and number two or three depending on which list you're looking at is definitely a combination of, of many brands and I guess in a way exp is too because exp is less of a brand and more of a tech um, platform more of an ecosystem right. so people were saying oh EXP, it's the Amazon of real estate, for example. Right, right. I think of it more of the Tesla or the Apple uh, because of their ecosystems. And right. that's what, and the technology that creates those ecosystems. Right, right. And uh, I think Amazon is more, I, I don't want to say, uh, a, a, on a plateau or it's just a, a, a one level you usually go there to buy things i'm talking about amazon.com not amazon the company which has you know like amazon web services which is a huge part of their uh, profitability um and, and uh, in a way um you know it's a little bit of the amazon of real estate because we have verbella right verbella's a pretty cool little tool. Uh, I've been so busy that I haven't really got to use it enough. But uh, well, I, I think anybody that's listening to this um, and doesn't know anything about EXP, uh, but can know a couple of things. Like, for instance, the the website that uh, you get part of is made by KV Core. KV Core is indisputably the best lead generating website. I was talking to an agent in New York uh, this morning, and uh, he spent a lot of money, and he has people who promised him, I'll get you to the top of uh, uh, Google and all that, another thing that everybody kind of says. Um, and he's not, he's dead in the water. He's not getting any business. And I said, you're not getting any business because you can't beat out, you know, companies that are spending millions of dollars in lead generation and um, KV Core is one of them with all of the EXP now 80,000 agents running it and, and creating content. Um, it's just picking up leads uh, and delivering them to the individual agent. And uh, that's a pretty incredible thing. And that's just, that's just KV Core. We're not talking about how 
everything in the back end of, of this company is included, how your CRM is connected to your, your database and to your uh, uh, accounting and to your electronic signatures. And all of this is given to you for 85 bucks a month. No desk fee. Um, it's not just a virtual company. Uh, for instance, the Castles Unlimited team has two offices, one in, in Newton, our corporate office, and one right by Fenway Park. So you can come to work and go see a game. Uh, they're playing pretty well now these days. Um, you have written a book about this. Oh, there's another thing. Go ahead. Do you want to talk about the success? No, I, I, it's just like every day. It's like something else. It's like this came in the mail to me and I'm looking at it. This awesome magazine that has uh, Shaq on the cover, Success Magazine. And then I open it up. And then uh, I was just talking about Verbella. There's an ad for Verbella, uh, which is the, um, the metaverse. Yeah. It says not canceled your next event. And it shows, uh, uh, I guess, like a rock band or something. Um, and they, they own the technology, they own the company and right. no one else in real estate can use Verbella. Um, actually, actually way before I joined EXP, I called Verbella and said, Hey, I'd like to have Verbella as a tool for my real estate company, Castles Unlimited. And they got back to me in a, in a day or so. And they said, oh, are you in real estate? I go, yes, I'm in real estate. They say, now, uh, we don't sell our tools, our web tools uh, to people in real estate. It's just exclusive to EXP. Um, but if I was, you know, Harvard University or the State Department, whatever, there's a lot of Fortune 500 companies that, that use it. And, and yes, uh, the book, uh, Million Dollar Month, it, it is out now. Wait a minute. Let me correct you. Your Million Dollar Month, like the exponential files. <laughs> well, that's good. I, 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 I appreciate it. Yes, your. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> I haven't had a Million Dollar Month yet, but I'm working towards it. Well, that... Listen, yeah, you you you've heard this before. My book, uh, your million dollar year in real estate, was going to be. Uh, it was going to be a se second book, your billion dollar year, and I had ideas about what it was going to be about. But after being with the XP and learning a little bit about the successes of some of the people in the company. Uh, your million dollar month in real estate made more sense because there are literally people and and they could stop working now. I mean, I mean, a million dollars a month does does, you know, it pays for a lot of streaming services and uh, trips to Aruba and what, whatever you want, you know, a, a ski chalet or whatever. Um, but, you know. Going out and changing people's lives, which is really what this is about. I mean, this podcast is really all about that too. I mean, what are our goals for this podcast? Well, our goals are that people who choose you or me as their sponsors will be on this show with edited clips to share, um, maybe with other real estate agents, maybe with um, uh, their clientele or there would be buyers and sellers in the future. I know that um, uh, with uh, one of the people that I brought into the company, he was having a difficult time with the uh, uh, technology. It's a lot to learn. Uh, but it, like in real estate, you do the same 20 things over and over and over again. You just have to figure out where, where the buttons are and what you're supposed to do. So I have brought him into, into my office. Uh, he comes in two, two hours every single day, and he has gone from zero to he's got over 400 people in his database. And this is just two weeks. And he's making calls 
And uh, he know he's a very personable guy, knows a lot of people, didn't know what to do and couldn't figure it out. So uh, that's what a sponsor does. It, it The sponsor, we help you understand what you're supposed to do and how to do it because that's good for us. Um, it's good for the industry. It's good for everyone. And that is a very, very different model than the one that I grew up with in the other franchises where everything that was mine was mine and I didn't talk to anybody about it. And I had to be careful if people were walking by my desk that they weren't looking at, you know, my database and stuff like that. It doesn't exist over here um, at, at EXP because it's in our interest for all of us to be doing well because we all share in that wealth. It's a, it's a new paradigm. And I appreciate it. I, I um, am, I wish I had listened to some of my friends who moved over before I did, uh, but I'm thrilled to be here now. Uh, most importantly, because I do see uh, a method by getting out of that hamster wheel of getting a listing, selling a listing, getting a commission, going out and doing it again, getting a buyer, finding a place for somebody to buy, outbidding people or getting you know, the offer accepted. It's a hamster wheel. And uh, now this is different. There is a variety of ways, not just one channel for making money. You make your money with your commissions. You're paying less for a cap. You can get your cap, all your cap money back. We'll talk about that later. I mean, so you end up paying no cap, uh, but that's a different thing. You have to be really productive, but uh, I'm not there yet. But I do really appreciate the fact that um, total transparency. I know what I'm going to make and how I'm going to make it. And uh, I'm updated through my phone, through my email, every single moment when something happens. Um, there's a search tool inside this KV core. And uh, I had always put my search for, for clients into the MLS. So then I'd go into the MLS and see what they're looking at, see if they you know, shared anything. Now in KV Core on my own website, I can do that search because it's an IDX website. It pulls from my MLS, but it puts it in this beautiful uh, branded uh, Larry Lawfer Castles Unlimited Team EXP Realty thing. And, and it has everything that you want. It has maps, it has walkability, it has, you know, uh, properties nearby that are worth uh, that are interesting to look at it's just so much uh, for for uh so little you know uh it's it's really pretty amazing to me yeah okay so the other thing we can we can touch on is uh just branding in general um agents are, are typically entrepreneurial but with the exp platform they can be even more entrepreneurial. Yeah. They can have um, their own name on the sign, you know, huge letters, you know, you, you're going down the street, it's the Larry Law for whatever, uh, realty. I mean, nothing to stop you. Um, brokered by EXP. Uh, you have a $5 million house that you took a listing on. Um, because I'm your sponsor, um, I license everyone, and this is in all 22 countries that you come to me and I'm your sponsor, or for that matter, if Larry's your sponsor, uh, because uh, I'm his sponsor, you can use the, the Castles branding, the federally registered trademark, and the beautiful signage that goes along with that, or Castles Unlimited, the other trademark. Um, you know, the, there's, and of course, the XP itself, or you could start a team, you could uh, call it uh, your stories, realty team. Um, really, the limits are your imagination. Um, of course, um, with with my sponsoring, um, I'm also um, bringing people into uh, the residual income that I'm getting. So 
they're getting not only their own, but they're getting a portion of mine and they can also share that with people who choose them as a sponsor and so on and so forth. Multiple streams of income is is the the uh, the point here. Uh, we haven't okay. even uh, we haven't even talked about the stock and training. Yeah, I have a new um, new agent. Um, it, it's actually um, one of the agents that chose me as their sponsor. It's someone who they brought in as a new agent, um, and. I asked him today if he wanted a referral for a commercial um, client. And he he told me how he was um, already working with a commercial client. He didn't really feel like he was really that well-trained with commercial yet. And I already have top uh, running with the top dogs training that I paid for. I hooked him up. Yeah, yeah. It's it is inclusive, not exclusive. You 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 come in all, to a team already built around the fact that let's all of us uh, get the boat floating higher and higher in the water, and we know at the uh, exponential growth that EXP is because people are beginning to see um, the huge advantage for an agent um, that. Uh, that, those numbers are going to continue to go up. And uh, first people in are going to uh, benefit even greater than those who come in next year or the year after. Uh, as I said, I, uh, I, I, I am sorry that when uh, I got asked two years ago by a good friend of mine, someone I co-broked with a lot, and she wanted to talk to me about this, I said, it felt like uh, another brand uh, that and all they do is they they want their agents to bring in other agents, but it's a profit share, not a revenue share. And then uh, if you don't understand that, uh, you're missing a lot about business. Revenue share is top line. Profit share gets determined by uh, the franchise owner. Uh, he determines what makes himself pro or herself profitable, and then they dole out whatever's left to their agents. It's it's hugely different. Uh, multiple streams of income, uh, cost less to be part of it, greater technology uh, across the board. And that's not, that's not puffery. You can go out and look at KV Core and buy it for yourself. I think it's like 349 bucks a month uh, because of its, its power. And you don't pay any of that. You pay a technology fee that not only call, includes KV Core, but includes SkySlope, which is your, your accounting end, and um, Morgan Stanley, where you, your stock is, is kept. Um, it's really Did pretty you sign? Did you sign yep. Um, yep. Regis uh, offices that you can use yep. all over the world? Yep. The whole metaverse. I, I haven't done much in the metaverse. Have you, uh, you spent time there? I I unfortunately don't have um, a lot of extra time between, uh, you know, podcasts and books and, uh, you know, just the managing and, of uh, 50 plus agents. And, and right. Like well, um, I do when uh, uh, I have a question is when I go in. It's just that uh, I am not always comfortable uh, being the... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, it's not. You're not looking at me. You're looking avatar. at an avatar. You're, you're an avatar. My avatar, because I didn't have a lot of time to set it up. Uh, I have uh, like a Rastafarian uh, beanie, and um, I, I mean it's kind of cool. Right. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I'm sort of as, as I'm walking through the uh, EXP campus. I, I'm. Tell me if I'm wrong, but you kind of look at the back of your, the back of yourself as you're yeah. walking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you see people they're like hyper speed zipping by. What that is is a pull down. You know, it's sort of going back to the uh, more of the uh, analog, um, you know, mouse and click. But you can get right to where you want to be. So those are the people that are flying by at warp speed. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it makes complete sense. Right. Now, 
there you are rolling out of bed at 8.59 because you have a nine o'clock meeting. You don't have to shower. You can just sit, sit there in the meeting with your cup of coffee. You can have, you know, you can be muted, you know, so people don't hear you slurping your cappuccino. Um, it's, it's, listen, it makes sense. It really does. It, and that's the interesting thing some somebody and i'm assuming glenn isn't the only person in this brain trust you know because i talk about in my book about the genius of the revenue share um grid you know because it isn't static it just it it it's it's different levels and different payouts at different levels for different um numbers of people you bring in and why is it the way it is well, I'm talking to one of my brokers and I realize, you know, we're talking about the same person and I'm saying, well, you know, it's it's better if they go through you and, the, and you're their sponsor. It encourages cooperation, yeah. which is a very rare thing in business in general. Um, so that's a big part of EXP is changing the mindset of people and how they approach other people in business, how they approach their business and how they approach their future. Right. You know, how is this going to change your life? Yeah. Um, I, I had the feeling shortly after I came over when I was just getting uh, getting started with it. And I've, I've been an, an agent for a good long while. So, you know, it's not I'm not a neophyte. You, you just have to learn how to do the new things. But I thought, I really feel like running for the bus again, you know, and the reality is I haven't taken a bus in a long time, but you understand the thing, like, uh, I don't want to miss this, you know, and I'm excited to go out and, and use these tools. I'm, I'm excited to, uh, in the morning, wake up and, and look that my clients had looked at stuff and the artificial intelligence in, that's embedded within the KV core site found that they liked three bedrooms and four bathrooms an odd thing but they're out there and it's feeding them those listings um i didn't have to do anything another really important thing is everybody out there has been in a situation and you're writing up an offer or there's something that's going on and you just need to talk to your broker and it's in the middle of the night or it's you know uh your broker's off or he doesn't answer he or she doesn't answer the phone you know, after hours, uh, not a good broker, by the way, but with with the metaverse, you can go in there and there's brokers everywhere. You can ask these questions and get a. So it's not just customer service that's there eight to eight central time or whatever that is there. are So it's open 24 seven. Yeah. So there are brokers just like hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. And you can chat and you can and yeah. you can network. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize. Yeah. So it's almost like, well, it's not almost like it's like the old uh, AOL chat rooms. Yeah. People are always people are always there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except these are real estate brokers that also have shares of stock in the same company that you're one of the owners of too. And, and that they... and that's a big difference too. Everyone yeah. who works for you. Yeah. And, and they want you to succeed. That's uh, it's absolutely incredible and incredibly awesome. Um, I wish we had more time to talk about this. We, uh, have, we have one more minute. So I wanted to just think about this thought, the next wave of agents coming into EXP will be the top agents. Why yeah. is that? Well, I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, a little marketing in my area with uh, certain technology. And I was thinking, you know, what is, what is the phrase that is gonna catch the eye? What is meaningful as it relates to the way my business has changed and the business in general has changed with the XP. And basically it's what would an extra $100,000 a year do for, for your life? You know, how would it change your life? Because a lot of these brokers and a hundred thousand, at least 
in the zip codes that we're operating in, these people are going to actually earn probably much more than that yeah. with EXP. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Most of these people do not have a cap. They barely even know what a cap is. Right. So if they start doing the math, then they might go, oh, yeah, I literally get 100% of my commission. Right. Either in cash, which is good, or stock. Which is good. mostly cash, mostly yeah. cash. I mean, the top agents, they're going to get like probably 99% cash and yeah. 1% stock. Yeah. But the yeah. stock pays a dividend too. And the stock well, is already split. What's great about that is it's in your hands. You, the agent, it's in your hands. You make the decision about what you want to do. And it, it's not like, uh, top agents who, you know, stand up and go to the, uh, the conferences and talk about how wonderful they are. This is a groundswell of activity with people and everybody is doing better because of it. Um, it's incredible. Uh, the Exponential Files is here to help you understand this. If you have any questions, we're easy to find. Jim Lowenstern, Larry Lawfer, give us a call, talk to us. And you don't have to be in our downline. I'd love, I'd love to help you. But if you have a question, reach out. We're happy to talk to you. Um, it's been another wonderful half hour, hasn't it, Jim? Yeah, went by very quickly. It does. See you next week.